This is Angelus TV, God's voice that brings hope to the nations. Praise the Lord. We have just finished two wonderful step, I mean, areas of restoration. One, restoration of years that have been wasted. Two, restoration of health. Now we want to look at the restoration of joy. And we go to the book of Psalm 51 and verse 12. Psalm 51 and verse 12. And we are listening to uh, the man of God, David. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. Now, this is a very important psalm. You know, the person who wrote this psalm is David. And David wrote this psalm after he had been found guilty of sexual immorality and of the murder of Uriah. And, you know, and, you know he killed Uriah and then took his wife with Sheba. Now, this portion of scripture, after the prophet of God had revealed to David that God is aware that he's the one who killed Uriah to take over his wife, David tore his garments and went and fell before the Lord. And he prayed. The whole of Psalm 51 is the prayer of David repenting before the Lord. And as David was repenting before the Lord, he said, Lord, restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with, your, with a willing spirit. God, restore to me the joy of salvation. Friends, I know each one of us that, that is watching this broadcast have made mistakes as children in the family. We have also made mistakes as God's children. And not, sometimes not just mistakes, but have sinned. And friend, you know that when you sin, whenever you sin, if you will find yourself you have fallen in sin, there is always something that comes with sin. Sin brings guilt. And guilt robs you of peace and joy. Uh, it, and it unleashes shame on your life. So David is going before the Lord and he's saying, God, I have sinned against you and I have lost the joy of salvation. I am no longer excited because the, the, the weight of my evil, the weight of my sin is so heavy on me. Each one of us has, has gone through this. But David, you know what the Bible says? David was a man after God's own heart. It is because of this. Because when David sinned against God, he did not pretend. He did not go around making excuses. David accepted his sin. And when you read this Psalm 51, you hear David cry to the Lord. His prayer is so genuine. He confesses his sin. He says, God, my sin is always before me. Friend, if you are this kind of a person that commits sin and you don't feel guilty and you, 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 you walk and live as though there is no sin in your life, surely your fall is great. It means your conscience is dead. It means, and, and it's, it, it, it means, friend, you can so easily be destroyed. Let sin make you uncomfortable. You cannot commit sin and just live life as usual. Let it deny you comfort. That is what sin does. Sin should deny you comfort. And that is exactly what, the, what David said. God, don't take away from me the joy of salvation. And in fact, he said, don't take away your spirit. And here he says, restore to me the joy of your salvation and by, by your willing spirit. Let your generous spirit guide me. Let me be restored. Let me have the excitement of the spirit of the living God. This morning, have you sinned against God? Is, 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 did you do something that is wrong? Have you hurt your spouse, hurt your, your, your children, or hurt your parents? The best thing for you to do is to repent before the Lord. And after you have repented before the Lord, ask the Lord to restore to you the joy of salvation. Be happy that you were born again. Rejoice in the Lord. The sin that you committed is forgivable. 
fall before the Lord with a broken heart. God will never reject a broken and contrite spirit. He will receive you. He will forgive you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I thank you because you are the God who restores us to the joy of salvation. And Lord, right now I'm just praying, let the joy of salvation fill our hearts. Let us walk in your righteousness and do everything that God, you want us to do and become everything that you want us to become. I pray that God, if there is any brother that have, has fallen, any sister that has deviated from the way, God, I just pray that there is genuine repentance and restoration of the joy of salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for watching this broadcast. For more of such uplifting Christian content, please click subscribe. Click the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another broadcast. Thank you and God bless you.